Hey everyone, thank you so much for the overwhelming response on our last video on what is Web3 and all because of that we are making this follow-up video. Welcome to our channel Metaverse Simplified. I am Vishal and if you are new to our channel or new to the concept of Metaverse, please do check this video out. Before we start our video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we are making a lot of content around Web3, Metaverse and NFT. Last week we made a video on what is Web3. And a lot of people reached out to us asking the very specific question hey vishal how web 3 is exactly different from web 2 or the internet that we experience today in this video we are going to simplify that and explain you along with a couple of concept of what was there in web 2 or the internet that is today versus what is going to change in web 3 well and if you have not seen our last video what is web 3 please do check this video out. It is more of a fundamental of explaining what is Web3 where in this video we are going to deep dive onto some of its concepts. Today we are going to compare Web2 and Web3 side by side on its five different components. First one is identity, second one is data control, third one is digital ownership, fourth one is interaction and the fifth one is transparency. The first one is identity and I am not going to reveal what my first internet or email ID was because it was so cringy. I never in my life want to be reminded of it. But again, as our generation, we grew up in the internet era, we created a lot of identity in the internet. May it be different kind of email IDs, different kind of social media and all of that. And that is how we have created identity in the internet that we live in today that is web 2 the thing about internet or thing about web 2 is you can create any number of identity you want you can create one id you can get create 10 ids you can even create 100 id no one is going to stop you or no one is going to put some law saying that hey you can create only one identity while things have evolved and google and facebook have started linking phone numbers to your uh, social media account but no one is truly stopping you from creating multiple ids in the internet that is web 2 and again apart from that we have multiple accounts right i have a different account for facebook different account for google different one for youtube for snapchat for twitter even for amazon everywhere i go every platform i have a separate account with a separate username and a separate password that is how the identity is managed in web 2 while in web 3 we are going to sign into everything through one single wallet that can be a crypto wallet and this single wallet is not something that I create, like I create different username in web too. Like I am Vishal the best in Facebook or Vishal the rocking star in Twitter, just making it up. In web three, I have one single crypto ID or crypto wallet. And that is also available in the public information that this is the XYZ is my crypto wallet ID and it is linked to this particular individual. Apart from that, I also have a private key with that, which makes that entire identity more secure and more trusted. And this single identity that is my crypto wallet helped me to experience anything and everything in the world of Web3. So in Web3, instead of having multiple identity, I have one single identity which unifies my experience. The next section is data control. And don't get me started on how we have sold all of our data to the likes of Google, Facebook and Amazon, including our souls again making it up but again today google and facebook knows more about us than our own parents and that is how we have in a way shared data without asking for anything in return to these platforms and that is how they show us all these ads and that is how they make money okay come on come on just go and see some brand's name you know or you love near your mobile device and i bet you you are going to see an ad on instagram on that particular brand maybe within hours and that is how platforms like Google, Facebook are monetizing their data, our data, they are collecting all our internet behavior, they are listening to us and they are just monetizing all of this through their ad model and that is how things have been going in Web2. In Web3, you are the one who is going to control your data. You are the one who is going to choose whether you want to monetize your data or with whom you want to share your data for any kind of utility or any kind of personalization. That is what Web3 is doing. It is not only building a more previously safe internet, but it also giving that control of data back to us, the users. That is what is amazing about Web3. The 
the third area is digital ownership now go ahead and uh, screen record this video or download this video through some pirated app and share this video with thousands of people right you can do that right no one is technically going to stop you at this moment you are doing this piracy in the digital world is a huge huge issue and i am from india and i can say the entire catalog of netflix is available on this app called telegram or this website called pirates bay you can go there download it for free of cost in hd or ultra hd quality and you can watch all of your favorite show without paying netflix a penny that is how huge piracy is an issue in the digital world or in the world of web 2 in web 3 thanks to the technology of blockchain and the concept of nfts digital ownership or uh, authentication of digital asset is a huge use case now you can legitimize the rightful owner and authenticity of all the digital asset thanks to the technology behind nft and this is going to solve for digital ownership in a huge way i personally love nft and if you still don't know what is nft do check this video out but nfts are not only solving for ownership and authentication and use cases in the world of web3 but nfts are going to be the largest medium to drive loyalty program and build communities in the world of web3 because it can actually legitimize and verify the authenticity of any digital asset and its ownership The next area is interaction. In Web 2, I can tweet Elon Musk. Elon Musk may not tweet me back. In Web 2, I am making this video and you are watching this video. Please do comment on this video <laughs> that because that is interaction in Web 2. I can post a picture on Instagram. My friends can like it and comment it and share it, right? That is how interaction is in happening inside Web 2. In Web3 with Metaverse, interaction are going to be much more immersive. You still do not know what is Metaverse? Check this video out. A lot of brands are doing a lot of use cases around Metaverse, but again to ground us to fundamentally what Metaverse is, it is an immersive area where you can socialize, work, play with people and do a lot of stuff and this is more of a virtual world, a virtual internet where you can immerse and do a lot of activity. And that is what how interaction is going to change in web3 metaverse is powered by anything that is ar vr or xr i would suggest or recommend you go and explore the early metaverses these days go to a decentral land or a sandbox or a roadblock or maybe go to fortnite and explore what it is go and go with your friends socialize drive a car go on a date do anything just explore what the new technology on metaverse is and you will understand how interaction is going to change in web3 the last area is transparency in web2 i make a tweet i delete it okay there is no proof that i made that tweet but okay someone took a screenshot of it but hey you can use photoshop to create a screenshot right but in web3 that is going to change in web3 every information is going to be stored in a blockchain or in a public ledger and this information is going to be stored there permanently uh, many people say things that are on blockchain can't be removed or can't be erased i would say maybe we are not there from a technology point of view maybe tomorrow it might be possible but today it is very difficult to erase some information from blockchain so anything that happens in the web3 is going to be stored in a blockchain given it is an application of blockchain and it is going to be there in this public ledger maybe forever so it is a more transparent system it is more trustworthy and it is more secure because everything is on blockchain this brings us to the end of today's video and i have tried to explain how web 3 is actually different from web 2 please do like this video if you like to share it among your friends and people who are interested around this topic and please do subscribe because we are making a lot of content around metaverse nfts and web3 please do let us know in your comment section what all topic or the topic you want us to pick up or any feedback we are open to that till then thank you so much for watching this video see you next time